Welcome again to Feyen CNC TV. We've got a two versus one on the map, Coastline Chaos. The players on the right side. We've got the Zocom yellow player, Jimmy. Jimmy's ally. To the south of him, we've got the vanilla GDI red player, Vice. Their opponent on the other side of the Coastline map, Teal player. Going random, getting black hand, Feyen. Feyen isn't in an optimum starting position. He's very far from the buildings. Beacons by, beacons by Jimmy. He knows they have to take these structures. Jimmy has the best position. So he'll get there the quickest, the fastest. Feyen is a bit slow with his cabals. So it doesn't look like he's going to get there in time. Jimmy's almost there in the middle. He'll take a couple of important positions, structures. There are two tip spikes, one to the north and one to the south. Fane will have one for his own and Jimmy and Vice will have to discuss who gets to take this one. I would give it to Vice though because Jimmy is closer to the tip fields. He's closer to his first one and also his natural expansion is this field. And Vice is a bit further away, so I would give this tip field to Vice. Fan sending Cabal squads. Wants to see maybe he can get to this bridge and stop any engineers. Let me see if the engineers has already been sent. No engineer sent yet by Jimmy. Is Fan sending an engineer? There's Fan's engineer over there. Jimmy's taken already these buildings, so he has some cover already for his later expansion to that field. Okay, the first firefight's gonna go on now. Cabals against GDI infantry. Oh, they're gonna pass each other. Fan turns around, mows them down, but he is too late to get into the building, so he has to send them back. Must be a second refinery. He has to drop that second refinery. All the while, he could sell off his Hand of Nod for the extra money. Is the Engineer there yet? No, it's crossing the bridge. It's at the bridge. Okay, Jimmy is quicker to the bridge. He's gonna drop down a Foxhole as soon as he has that. Let's see, okay, Finn unleashes the bullets on the Rifleman squad. But the Watchtower is over here. Nope. He can't get over the bridge. Nope. Can't get over the bridge. So the way is clear then for the engineer. Let's see. No second refinery out yet. Vice is not building anything. So Vice needs to build. Let me see if I got the... Yeah, I got the colors right. Vice needs to build. Or did he build it over here? Nope, he didn't. So Vice is late in building. There he is. This must be power plant first. There it is. Now. Now we should start building the refinery. Where's Fan's refinery? It's almost done. I think he is running out of money, so he needs to sell off the hand of Nod. This Cabal squad's gonna see if they can gain some ground or get some valuable scouting by going through this south ridge stick close to the water that's the only part of the map where they're not going to be fired upon i think jimmy forgot that there's a tiberium spike over here it's a mistake fans already at his spike no second refinery yet let's see if jimmy already has a second refinery yep he does he dropped it too far away from the from the tib field. He should have should have put it over here. Okay, fan sells off the barracks. Money for the refinery. Is he gonna drop? No, it looks like he's gonna pack up and go. This must be a refi um a harvester. Price is beaconing. He says, I see some Cabal squads over here. Maybe he's going to send 
Okay, Vice already knows they have to expand. Still no engineer going to the tip spike. Looks like Feyen's got his already. Vice has three harvesters. Okay, he is expanding now. MCV is on the way. This must be... Nope, I thought that was an APC. No APC coming out yet. Vice still beaconing. He says they're still over here. It's not really a threat. Okay, Feyen gonna come in with bikes. Moving his MCV down. He should have done that earlier. He's a bit slow in this match. Three harvesters, three harvesters. This must be another harvester or another bike. It looks like Feyen's gonna go for a bike rush. Don't know if that's the good move here. This map is so small. Okay. Feyen's sending the MC the... The APCs to take care of these Cabal squads. Let's take a look and see what they see. Okay, this is what Jimmy sees. And what Jimmy sees, Vice can also see. So Jimmy can see the Cabal squads. Yeah, Jimmy doesn't realize. Or he totally forgot about the Tib Spike over there. Let's see what he's making. Crane. Alright, Fane is at his expansion now. I'm trying to think, maybe it would have been smarter to go straight over here. Then at least you might gain some ground. Okay, the bikes are going. He's got four bikes. I thought he'd go with five. Fane should have went with five bikes. Four bikes instead of five. Okay. Took out a pit bull. Send some men flying. Oh, he's gonna lose a bike. Maybe he'll lose two bikes. Oh, forgets one. It's a costly error. He might lose it. Yep, loses it. Two more bikes left. Not enough to do significant damage. He'll only do damage if he's left alone. Well, at least he will irritate Vice a little bit. Maybe slow his economy down. Looks like he's gonna circle around, follow the coastline. Yep. They are heavily damaged. Fan should have went in this building. Should have taken this building, Fan. Ooh. His cabals are here, anyways. Five harvesters working. Six harvesters working. Jimmy's got three harvesters over here. Vice has got one. Four harvesters for Vice. Let's see if Jimmy's already got his airfield out. No airfield out for Jimmy yet. Tier two though, so now we can make his airfield. I forgot to put his harvesters back to work. Not working. Is Fane gonna go again? Looks like he's making more bikes. He's gonna go try it again. I wonder if Feist is gonna block the way. Is he gonna put his Predator tanks over here? Okay, he puts a War Factory at a good position. Good position. is right in the front line. So he'll enjoy the the added value of defender's advantage the repairs are very very close to the front line okay Fane is just healing up his bikes and then he's planning to go again he does have to go now though he's wasting time he needs to go now scorpion tanks coming out for Fayen. he should actually start making black hand right now scorpion tanks aren't aren't that great because you can't upgrade them to max we have a living room commentary so you'll hear life in the background Jimmy's well on his way of finishing his first Tiberian field he, he does need more he needs two more harvesters over here Vice has too many harvesters and he's got two not working you forgot these two okay the first infantry going to fall Vice has got no AP ammo yet. 
Needs to hurry up, get tier 2, go for that AP ammo. Okay, Fane's bikes are over here. They took out one Harvester. It's an okay run so far. Ooh, but they're getting fired upon. Is he gonna still... Nope, he loses one. How many bikes does he still have left? He's got two bikes left. He loses three bikes for one Harvester. Okay. No, he lost two bikes. So he's still got three bikes left. What is he gonna do with these bikes? Okay, looks like he's gonna go though. What is he waiting for? He's waiting. Oh, Fane's waiting. Deadly mistake. Deadly mistake. He's gonna be taken down. Yep. Nope. He should have kept moving. Failed bike rush. He was waiting too long. He should have kept moving with the three bikes. You could have taken down one harvester. Looks like Feist forgot his harvest is over here. This one is not even unloading. What happened here? Feist totally forgot his four harvesters. Okay, Fane just doing some valuable scouting. I don't know where he is. It looks like Fane could have already come and win this game. Look, he's got enough Scorpion tanks to push forward and deal significant damage. Feist doesn't have enough tanks over here to stop Fane's ground force. He should have just attacked right now, but that is seeing the entire picture. Ooh, look, he's got a lot of Scorpion tanks moving all his Harvesters down. Fane could have attacked right now and won the game. Jonas. Okay, Feist put his harvesters back to work. He needs another refinery over here. He's got too many harvesters for one. Yeah, Feist is beaconing. He's telling Jimmy to go expand over here because your tib is almost done. Jimmy forgot this Tiberium spike. Fane can't get here because he can't make any air units. So he can't take that for himself. What he does need to do... Okay, he is moving to the middle now. Drop the two refineries and is now moving towards the middle it's got a lot of scorpion tanks okay now he's transitioning into the rocket squads he's going for the black disciple secret shrine is out now he should have done this earlier needs to drop another hand of nod on the field his army is already large enough to attack is he gonna do that vice is making a ground force now jimmy doesn't have jimmy's only got two choppers Man, if they attack now, it could have won. So that's in their advantage, Jimmy and Vice, that Fane has not attacked yet. Okay, Vice is beaconing. He's saying we have to shore up this defensive line or even this front line. Vice also says we gotta come and expand now. He's saying or expand or be wary that there is an entrance over here. Fane can come here with bikes or come here with other units. There he is, he's forming his front line now. Nothing coming out of this war factory. Okay, Jimmy drops down a refinery. If I should have dropped down already another refinery over here, he could have dropped three refineries here and set more harvesters to work. vane has got too many harvesters on this field. He's got to put harvesters over here. He needs to move Harvesters to the other side. Okay, he moved one. He's got lots of Scorpion tanks. Can already attack. He has some Raider buggies now. Second hand of Nod. Oh no. Yeah, second hand of Nods on the field. He can already go. He can already attack now. The longer you wait. Okay. Vice has got a lot of APCs, AP ammo, so he's ready for Feyen here. Like I said, if Feyen had this building. If he put some rocket squads in here, he could have uh, fired on this war factory. He has flames, so what he has to do is take out these garrison structures, or else in the long run, these are gonna be an annoyance. But Jimmy has to hurry up. Hurry up with these choppers. Because Fane is already gonna move forward now. Okay, it looks like Scorpion tanks are gonna go through the south south side then he'll move them forward
Fane should have sent more bikes actually. He should have sent more bikes and taken out these harvesters over here. Nope. Getting some damage. Walking over the Tiberium. Scorpion tanks could have already moved forward and taken out these units. It would be a good match. There's no railguns yet, so the Scorpion tanks would have a good match over here. I don't know who would win. All these Scorpion tanks, there's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 Scorpion tanks against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Predator tanks. 7 Predator tanks. More. I don't know which one would would win. Vayne is attacking in a line though. That's not great. It's not good. Let's see if he's gonna demove to move backwards. Let's see if he's focus firing. He's focus firing on the APC wrong unit. He should have focus fired on the predator tank. This is the nice, a nice first skirmish over here. Black hand against vanilla GDI. Looks like Feist is pushing Feyen back, or he's pushing back just so that his infantry can move forward towards the front line. Even Feist is moving back now because he sees the infantry. Maybe he realizes he doesn't have enough anti-infantry. Feyen has to move forward now. He does. Feist is moving back just to form a stronger line. His predator tanks are attacking the infantry. Not a good idea. All his predator tanks has to focus on one scorpion tank. Scorpion tanks focus on the predator tanks. Or no, focus on the APC, so at least you have nothing taking out your infantry. So here it is. Let me just keep the minimap open just to see if Jimmy is coming to the backside. Attack with his choppers. This is a nice back and forth. Rockets back and forth. Feist going into these buildings. Just providing extra cover. Feyen is flooding the battlefield here with infantry. Black Hand flooding the battlefield. Looks like Fane is going to have the upper hand right now. Feist only has three units left. Fane's got to push forward. Okay, Jimmy's here now. Jimmy is here now. But Fane does have rocket soldiers, so he... Look at that. He will take out these choppers. Okay, Jimmy is forced to go back. Fane has to move forward now. Wow, look at that. Man. So it looks like Fane has the upper hand. He has to move forward. And Vice has to scramble and make more base defense. Vice, he has to just drop watchtowers like a crazy person. He needs to drop watchtowers. Fane's moving forward. Let's see if Jimmy's... Is Jimmy swinging around? He's not swinging around. Fane is keeping all these buggies over here. If Fane let these buggies join the front line, then he would, or, then he would already push forward. Don't know if Fane's attacking right. He's got to send more men to this side. He's got to send more men to this side. It's a nice back and forth over here. Look at all these rockets flying back. This is an infantry battle over here. AP ammo battle. Look, Black Hand just littering. They litter the battlefield. But it looks like Vice is holding them off. Fane doesn't have the flame yet. The purifying flame, that's his mistake. He should have went for the purifying flame already. He is being pushed back. That wasn't a good attack from Fayen. He's got more infantry coming in now. Not a good attack from Fayen. But a good defense from Vice. Good defense from Vice. Sending in more units. Jimmy's coming in with more APCs, so they're shoring up their defense. Was that the crucial moment in this battle? Not yet, because they're still building up their front lines. It looks like, it kind of looks like a stalemate right now. Okay, oh, look at this. Fane makes a mistake over here by not making another refinery. Look, all of his Tib is almost gone. He's got a lot of harvesters but he needs more refineries his mistake he should have made more refineries and instead of raider buggies he should have made mantis black hands got mantis wow this front line so much anti-infantry over here let's see what every player is doing now okay 
Looks like Feist will lose a Harvester, makes a mistake. Is sneaking an APC coming forward. They should have made... They should have both made snipers. Should have both made snipers, but it looks like they have enough anti-infantry here. Fane's man spam is not that large. Okay, he's sending in raider buggies, but they don't have EMP coils. They don't have EMP coil. This one is overextending. Wow, nice battle. Nice battle. They just come in waves. Fane comes in waves, moves forward and back. Vice is moving forward now. Nice back and forth. Look at this. Wow, so many Raider Buggies for Fan on the left side. You see the Raider Buggies on the left side, right side. AP ammo, infantry, APCs. Fan should make flame tanks. Add the flame tanks to the mix. He doesn't have the purifying flame. It looks like his Raider Buggies are pushing back all the infantry. Vice wants the defense from the towers. Jimmy's up here with his APCs joining the battle. Let me take a look. His choppers aren't yet in the fight. Feist is just losing more. Harvester's Fane has to back off. He's not using these units, so he's making a mistake by not using these units. What's happening over here? What is happening over here? Nothing. This is a crucial match over here. It still looks... They look evenly matched. They look evenly matched, though. What Fane has to do is send his MCV forward and make some base defense here. Could use a Voice of Cain just to strengthen his infantry. It looks like his infantry is being mowed down though. He's still got his... He needs EMP coils. And Feist needs some Juggernauts. The juggernauts will tip the scale in GDI's favor. And Fane also needs some long range. Okay, Jimmy's choppers are up here. He's got four of them. He should have already used them already. He should use them. Okay. Is this the breakthrough the Fane's looking for? He's pushing through now. He's pushing through on this side. He's pushing through on this side. But what he's attacking, I don't know. He doesn't have enough vehicle damage. He doesn't have enough infantry damage. Or no, he does have infantry damage because he's got the Raider Buggies. He has to take out this War Factory though. Gotta take out the War Factory so there, there's no build radius anymore. Watchtowers just going to work and sending Feyens. Feyens buggies back. Feyens doesn't have any more man spam. He should have sent also some Scorpion tanks forward, some Flame tanks. He needs to mix this up with Flame tanks. That's his mistake. He still... Okay, there's that second refinery. You need more refineries. Look at this. Feyens needs a third refinery over here. Third and fourth refinery. Is he gonna move his MCV forward? He needs to move that MCV forward. Okay, it's coming now. The MCV is moving forward. Let's take a look and see if Jimmy is... Jimmy's not coming yet with his choppers. His choppers are still over here, I think. I don't see his choppers anywhere. Okay, so Fane has sent all his units up front, but he is totally open in the back. Totally open in the back. This has been a, a nice back and forth over here. Still, mate. Just holding each other in the middle. Let's see how much. They still have a lot of Tib here. Fane should have come here with bikes. That's what he should have done. And then he could have taken out a lot of Harvesters. If you come here with maybe seven bikes, you can take out two, three, four Harvesters before they can respond. Okay, he's coming in with units, infantry, but they're going right over the Tiberium. It's not great. Where is his... Oh, he forgot his MCV. He has to keep moving his MCV. This could be his costly mistake because every second you wait, Jimmy and Vice is building up their force, but they're running out of money too. Well, their money is just here, but they don't have enough harvesters harvesting this. But Jimmy should just attack with these Zocom helicopters up here because Fan doesn't have any more anti-air. His anti-air is all down here. Okay, he moves his MCV again. It's late. It's very, very late. Oh, Fane is making a deadly mistake here. 
Deadly mistake, all these rocket squads are dying. Look at this. Rocket squads dying. Mistake. And every little mistake now here can cost you the game. Every mistake can cost you the game here. He has to reform his line. That's not a well-formed line. Oh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy finally sees the beacon. And Jimmy says, hey, there's another tip spike down here too. Okay, it looks like now Feyen's gonna start making building over here. It's gonna move forward again. APCs have to jump into action. Turn this. Feyen forgot. Forgot the EMP coils. Has to get the EMP coils. Where's Jimmy's choppers? Jimmy's choppers still not doing enough. They're just over here. They should keep poking. They should keep flying and poking. Fan should just make his hand of nods right here in front, in the front line. That's a mistake also that they're so far away because it takes forever until your infantry comes over here. Okay, he's coming out with beam cannons because he wants the long range. He's got to sell this off. He should have sold off the war factory and started making everything over here. Does drop the voice of K now. So all this infantry, let's see if the voice of Kane is about. They've got a large radius. Fane's beam cannons have to jump into action. He's not using them yet. Look how far the beam cannons can fire. He's got to fire down the watchtowers. Fane has to keep on targeting the watchtowers with his beam cannons. And Feist has to come out with juggernauts now. Feist needs those juggernauts. Man. Fane's force has been dwindled down. If I was Feist, I would just push forward now. If I was Feist, I'd push forward and then you'll win. Fane's force is almost broken. He doesn't have enough. His Tiberium is running low. Yep. Let's see if Jimmy is already... Jimmy is not attacked yet. If Feyen put here the hands of Nod, he would have been much stronger. I think Feist made a mistake by attacking in a line over there. Now Feyen needs to use these beam cannons and attack this war factory over here. It still looks like a stalemate to me. He needs to use these beam cannons and attack the base defense or the war factory. He still has no purifying flame fan. That's a mistake also. So there's two mistakes, two big mistakes that he did in this match. There it is, the beam cannons. But he needs to target these ones first. The watchtowers. He needs to kill the watchtowers. He's got the right units but he's not using them well not using them well they're too close to the front line needs to back them off he needs to back them off these beam cannons where are the the juggernauts of ice they already have enough vice and jimmy to overrun fans force they've got a lot of apcs here a lot of apcs here he has enough okay now the purifying flame comes out for fan finally got it beam cannons in the back Now the fight gets interesting. There it is, the back and forth, the lasers and the flames, the AP ammo doing their work. Looks like Feist is pushing forward, Fane is also pushing forward, they are clashing here. Wow, look at this. Carnage here. APCs coming in, flooding the battlefield from the north side, Jimmy. They are bringing down Feyen's numbers. It looks like it's over now for Feyen. That's it. I think that's it. They've broken through GDI. Looks like GDI is broken through. He's sending Feyen on the run. He's sending Feyen on the run. Now Feyen's got the beam cannons. They're still alive, but they might not make it look, see? 
Fane's got a, a lot of forces, but because his hands of Nod are too far away, he should have made them over here. That was a deadly mistake. I think that will cost him the game. It looks like it's all downhill now for Feyen, unless he can make one last stand and correct that mistake by dropping hands of Nod in the front line. Jimmy should have taken care of this voice of Kane. Okay, all the APCs dropping or being sent on the run. Okay, now it's a war of attrition. There's no more money over here. Now it's all about who has made the best investments. If your money is gone, Fane's only got this army over here, but a whole lot of APCs can overrun that. Vice has enough APCs. Vice has to just come together with Jimmy's APCs, work together and destroy this. They've got enough. Fane's got to heal up his beam cannons. Fane should have dropped the war factory over here. A war factory in hands of Nod. That's what he needed to do. He's got the purifying flame now, but... He's got three mantis at the back. It's not a lot. You should have five or six mantis just in case Jimmy comes. Drops a shredder turret. It's a bit too close to Jimmy's watchtower. It's too close. He knows that now because he can't fire back. So he'll have to sell this. Yep, that was a mistake. He sold it. His infantry is too close to the watchtower. Fai should have come out with juggernauts a long time ago. Look at it. Fane's gonna see if he can still try to take down the watchtowers, but... Nope, the APCs are joining the front line now. He has to focus down the APCs, but he's too close to the watchtowers, so he's too close to the watchtowers. And Fane doesn't have any more units. He didn't heal up his beam cannons. His beam cannons, look how far they can shoot. Fane still got a force here though. It's still a force to be reckoned with. He is sending the APCs on the run now. It looks like it's back on par. Oh, no, he's gotta send them back, yep. And Jimmy should have already attacked with his choppers. It's too bad Jimmy has used his choppers very seldom in this match. Okay, Feyen is now coming out with more infantry. That's why the hands of Nod, I think they would have made a difference in this game. Or they would have ended this game a long time ago if he put two hands of Nod over here. Okay, the juggernaut is on the front line. That means where one juggernaut enters the field, more will follow. Yep. This is gonna force Fane's men to get on their knees. And Fane has to move forward now. His beam cannons only now are being sent back. I think they're gonna be repaired, but it's so far away from the front line. Look, so far away. His flame tanks is coming out with flame tanks. But Fane should have put the war factory right here in the front line. That's a big mistake. Yep. He's being forced back. He can't come forward being suppressed by the juggernauts this one watchtower has killed so many infantry but Jimmy could make all the difference in this match if he just sends his choppers in if he sends his choppers in this match is over he just has to come in and destroy everything over here fans healing up those beam cannons then sending them directly into the fray he needs to send these flame Flame tanks also. Fans moving forward but just losing men. He has to sell off this voice of Cain. Now Vice has to move forward with APCs and juggernauts. Where are your APCs? Vice actually doesn't even need these guardian cannons. You can sell off these guardian cannons and just put watchtowers. That's it. That's the only thing you need right now. Okay, Feist is beaconing, saying let's... Oh, oh it's this, um, his harvesters. <clears throat> Looks like Fane is going to try the flame tank attack from up top. There is base... Oh no, I thought that was base defense. He could still take care of these watchtowers, all these refineries. That's what he could do. But he's sending them alone. There's no anti-air with them. That could be a mistake. Beam cannons all healed up, coming to the front line.
Fai should already slowly move his juggernauts forward. But he just doesn't have any APCs. If Fai had snipers, his snipers would have been heroic by now. Just needs four snipers on the front line. He's forcing Feyen to go back and to move away. Because he's just losing unnecessary numbers. Oh, there it is. That's what I said. It's the anti-air. Feyen loses all his flank tanks. Loses them. Jimmy strikes at the right moment now. So this might force Jimmy to come forward. Fan loses his Mantis though. Yep. But will that force Jimmy now to swing to come around? Fan still has a lot of infantry over here. If I just to move forward now, where are your APCs? Finally decides to put a hand of nod in the front line. This might be the deciding blow of the game. Fane doesn't have any anti-air up here. This looks like the beginning of the end. This is it. Fane will have to sell off everything he has up here. Loses the war factory. He doesn't have any other war factory. He should have made another one up here. He's still got a force. It's not enough. I don't think this force is enough to take down the Juggernauts. Even these beam cannons. But Fane loses his entire northern base. His original base. He's going to also lose all these Harvesters. Where are all your... There is Mantis is moving forward. It's only three. Do wonder how much damage they can do though. They're already on low health, many of this Mantis. Jimmy just has to swing around. Fane is making a mistake by moving forward. He should have just stayed back. He should have just let the Juggernauts come forward. Okay, Fane is focusing down the War Factory with his beam cannon. That is good, though. That's good. Look how far. Look how far they shoot. I think he's, he will be able to take down the War Factory, but he's going to lose all his infantry. He finally takes down that pesky war. Watchtower. Okay, Feist loses the War Factory, but Feist can still move forward. Fane's beam cannons are coming forward. That might be a mistake because they're going to get in range of the Juggernauts. Yep, they're in range of the Juggernauts. Fan's going to lose his beam cannons. That was a mistake. There it is. Beam cannon 1 falls. Beam cannon 2 is going to die soon. There it is. Yep. Looks like Fan's broken now. This is it. Jimmy finishes off the Mantis. There it is. That's the end. Looks like GDI takes the win in this war of attrition. No more money on this map. Fan making too many mistakes on the front line. If he dropped more hands of Nod, he could have sustained the pressure. He didn't send flame tanks with support as soon as the Juggernauts entered the game. And when Jimmy came over here with his choppers, there's no anti-air to meet him. So that's the end of the game. Lots to learn for both sides. The game didn't have to be that long resources fan getting more resources but in the end it doesn't really matter it was a stalemate till the very end so i hope you enjoyed like subscribe hit the notification button leave a comment and we'll see you next time